Amen. Yesu ni Bwana, mchana wa leo nimeokoka na nampenda Yesu kwa sababu yake kunipenda sana na kuniokoa. Amen. Uh, naitwa kama vile umesikia baba Dennis akisema uh, najua tumezoea kuitana baba Franco, baba Dennis. Bwana asifiwe. And one day nilienda na one of our pastors uh, this time is a reverend tukaenda naye mahali na tulipoenda naye mahali ambapo tulikuwa tumeenda it was very official i can introduce huyu anaitwa baba franco bwana asifiwe kwa ofisi na baadaye dio nikawaambia ni kweli naitwa baba franco lakini naitwa samuel maina amen bwana wabariki sana Uh, ningetaka twende katika Biblia zetu karibu sana katika ibada hii ibada ya mwisho uh, kama jinsi ambavyo mnajua our bishop amesafiri ameenda Kinagop uh, kwa sababu ya pre-wedding ya kijana ya the red bishop uh, bishop Newton na kwa hivyo karibuni sana katika ibada hii na tutabarikiwa zote na Mungu wetu amen Nataka twende kitabu cha Joshua chapter 1. Joshua chapter 1. Unajua in the third service mwenye alikuwa na ubiri alifundisha tu mahali ambapo naenda. Lakini najua pango wa Bwana uh, uko pamoja nasi. Amen. Joshua chapter 1 yasema hivi After the death of Moses, the Lord's servant, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant. He said, Moses, my servant, is dead. Therefore, the time has come for you to lead these people, the Israelites, across the Jordan River in the land I am giving them. I promise you that. I promise you what I promised Moses. Whenever you set foot, you will be, you will be on land i have given you from the negev wilderness in the south to the lebanon mountains in the north from the euphrates river in the east of the mediterranean sea in the west including all the land of the hatites no one will be able to stand against you as long as you live for i will be with you as i was with moses i will not fail you or abandon you Verse 6 inasema hivi be strong and courageous for you are the one who will lead these people possess all the land i saw to their ancestors i will give them verse 7 be strong and and very courageous be careful to obey all the instruction moses gave you do not deviate from them turning either to the right or to the left then you will be successful in everything you do Study this book of instructions continually meditate it, meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do this is my command be strong and courageous do not be afraid or discouraged for the lord your god is with you wherever you go amen bwana asifiwe hapa twamuona mtu akipewa assignment. Bwana asifiwe. Wakati ambao ulikuwa umepita, huyu ni Joshua ambaye wakati huu ananenenwa, ananenewa na Mungu wetu. Na anamwambia ya kwamba it's you Joshua and now because Joshua my servant Moses is dead na kwa maana Musa anani wewe Joshua umejua ya kwamba mtumishi wangu Musa amekufa wewe Joshua nataka sasa uanze kuandaa hao watu diposa waingize na ni wewe utakao waingiza katika ile nchi ambao niliwapea bwana asifiwe this was very new to the, uh, this man Joshua ni kwa maana wakati ule mwingine alikuwa amezoea kusikia Moses akitoa uh, ama akisema this is what we are going to do This time the Lord is speaking to him. Na namwambia sasa ile position ambao Moses alikuwa ni wewe sasa utakayeichukua. Na ukiangalia verse verse 
7 and 9. There is something the Lord is talking to, Mo to Joshua. And I'm going to be a be strong and courageous. Be strong and of good courage. For this, for this people you shall divide as inheritance the land which I saw to their fathers to give them. Now, Kenda verse 7. Only be strong and very courageous. This time the word very. Praise God. Imiongezewa pale. Ukienda verse 9. Eburu kawende verse 9. Yasema ya kwamba. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Bwana asifiwe. Why is the Lord repeating all these, the, the two words? Uwe hodari na mwenye ushuja. Because this is what the Lord is repeating. Tumeyona in verse 6. Umeyona in verse 7. Na hapa mwisho, verse 9, anamuriza, sinime kuambia, sinime kuamuru. Have I not, have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Bwana asifiwe. Sinime kuamuru. Wewe Joshua. Uwe shuja. Bwana asifiwe. Wewe, uwe hodari. Na uwe na moyo wa ushuja. Kwa nini bwana anarudia hili neno maratatu? This person, Joshua, was getting his new, his first assignment. Bwana asifiwe. Kama kiongozi wa wana wa Israeli. Na yeye, wakati ambapo alipokuwa akipokea these are the assignments, yeye hakuwa anawakika. Bwana asifiwe. There are times ambapo unaingia mahari unaanza kujiuliza ni tafauru ama si tafauru itakuwa namna gani bwana asifiwe unaanza kujiuliza hii itakuwa namna gani umeanza kufungua biashara na ni kwa sababu ni wewe ambao unatakiwa kuendelesha mpaka ifauru kabisa iwe ya kusaidia familia yako unaanza kujiuliza na kweli this is why Mwakati ambapo Joshua Aripo anza kujuriza maswari Haya yote Diposta buwana kamshukia Na kamuriza Joshua It is me who talked to you Didn't I command you So that you may be uh, I commanded you to be strong And of good courage Sini mimi Buwana asifiwe Sini mimi Ambaye nilikuwa muru wewe Joshua Buwana asifiwe Some of us Urivuka mwaka huu ukiwa na project ambao ulikuwa unataka kuanzisha. Bwana asifiwe. Remember this was the time ambao Israeli tayari tu ilikuwa imevuka. Waisraeli walikuwa tu wamevuka kutoka kule jangwani na wakavuka Jordan. And this time Bwana asifiwe, imefika wakati diposa waanze kufanya ile kitu ambao Bwana alikuwa amewaitia. Bwana asifiwe. And now, this is the Lord who is talking to Joshua. Ana mwambia ya kwamba, siku hizi, wakati huu, umejua ule ambaye alikuwa na kuongoza. Unajua ule ambaye watu alikuwa na msikia sana. Mbana asifiwe. All of us know. Ya kwamba, wakati Moses angeonekana, akienda katika hema ya makutano, kila mtu ageka kiongoja, wingu liende pale. Mbana asifiwe. And this time is not Moses. And the Lord speaks only to Joshua. Nataka muangarie hapo. Bwana haja ongeresha wa Israeli wote. Hame muangeresha tu Joshua. Na haka muambia Joshua. Wewe ndiye utakae pereka haa watu. Diposa waende wakamiliki mahali ambapo ni mawaitia. And so Joshua alikuwa na juriza masori mengi. Mimi haa watu watani kubari. Bwana asifiwe, mimi huu mji ambao naona pale, ambao ni my first assignment wa kupigana na watu wa Jericho, huu nitaweza kweli. Bwana asifiwe, that is the fear in many of us. That is the fear that I can see in your heart. This year, there is a project ambao mevuka na kuyanzisha. The, this year, kuna mambo ambao ni muambia bwana. This is the path that I want to follow. Praise God. Lakini wakati ambapo, umeanza kwa, kuingia kwa hiyo path, umeanza kuogopa. Bwana asifiwe. Joshua, alipo na bwana. Na kambiwa ni wewe. 
Praise God. Na kambiwa ni wewe. Yeye na muona Joshua ambaye roho yake iko chini sana. Ni kwa maana anajiuliza maswali ambao unajiuliza siku ya leo. Sijui mwaka huu ulisema ni mwaka wako wa nini? Bwana asifiwe. Unajua unapovuka mwaka like myself. Wacha nipeane mfano na mimi. Mimi nikivuka mwaka huu nilisema na nikamwambia Bwana, huu ni mwaka wangu Bwana wa kutimiziwa. Huu ni mwaka wangu Bwana wa kufanya matendo ma ya ajabu juu ya nyumba yangu. Hii ni mwaka wangu Mungu wangu wa kunitimizia ile kitu ile shauku ambao nimeshaukia kwa miaka nyingi. Bwana asifiwe. Na unapoona mambo hayendi jinsi ambavyo unafikiria, unaanza kuogopa. God kama Joshua tu Bwana si nilisema huu ni mwaka wangu wa kutimiziwa huu ni mwaka wangu wa kuingia katika baraka zangu my god ni kweli itatimilika hivi Bwana si mimi ni mlisema ya kwamba ni mwaka wa kutimiziwa mimi na familia yangu and this is the way my son is going god hii kitu ni kweli itatimilika Bwana asifiwe. Maswali ambao unajiuliza na diposa Bwana akamtokea Joshua na akamwambia akamwambia Joshua, "Only be strong." And in, in verse 9 anamuuliza, "Joshua, si mimi ndio niliyekucha and I commanded you to be strong and of good courage." Bwana asifiwe. Because this man in his heart, I can see very many questions that this man was asking himself. Imagine Bana asifiwe in verse 5 Mari ambapo tulihubiriwa in the other service that service tulikuwa tulihubiriwa hivi verse 5 inasema ya kwamba no man Bana asifiwe hakuna yeyote verse 5 hiyo ya ya chapter 1 ya Joshua yasema hivi no one will be able to stand against you as long as you live for i will be with you as i was with moses i will not fail you or abandon you bwana asifiwe it is the lord who is speaking amen ni bwana anayemwongeresha joshua lakini uhakika huu utatoka wapi bwana asifiwe uhakika wa haya mambo ambao bwana anamnenea joshua hii huu hakika utatoka wapi na diposa tumeona Joshua yeye hana uhakika kabisa hajui ni kweli bwana atatimiza haya mambo ambayo anasema and this is why this is a very new assignment Joshua was not used kuongea na Mungu direct it was Moses ilikuwa ni Musa ambaye angeogea na Mungu aongee na ye direct lakini this time it is God who is speaking to Joshua not Moses Bwana asifiwe let me tell you brethren it is not that person it is you sio huyo mwingine ambaye anatimiziwa it is not that, that other person ambaye atafikisha jamii yenu mahali ambapo Bwana alisema it is you umekuwa uki ukifikiria ni kweli bwana utanitumia ni kweli bwana itakuwa hivyo but this is what the lord is speaking na message yetu siku ya leo it's fear not because we can see Joshua ambaye in his first assignment the lord continues to repeat this word Joshua be strong and courageous Joshua uwe uwe na moyo uwe uwe hodari na moyo wa ushujaa. Yo ni verse 7. Verse 9. Joshua, si nilikwambia, si nilikwamuru, uwe uwe hodari na uwe na moyo wa ushujaa. Bwana asifiwe. Ni kwa maana yeye hakuwa ametimiziwa wakati mwingine. And Joshua, the background of Joshua, the history. He had the history like the one that you having today. Bwana asifiwe. Uko na historia ya kwenu. Uko na historia ya hiyo kazi ambao unasema ya kwamba Bwana ataibariki. Historia yake uko nayo. When you check Joshua, walipotumwa na Musa waende wakaipeleleza ile nchi. Et Joshua aliona majitu. 
Bwana asifiwe wakati wa kupeleleza nchi ile ya Canaan Joshua yeye mwenyewe kwa macho yake aliona kuta ambazo zilikuwa kubwa sana na kubomorewa na mwanadamu ilikuwa ni ngumu Bwana asifiwe na alipo dwell in his history akajua ya kwamba Lord ni kweli unasema hayo but God will it be possible Bwana asifiwe This is the same question that I see that the Lord is in, seeing in your heart. But the Lord is speaking unto you today, fear not. Only be courageous. Only be strong and courageous because you are the one. Bwana asifiwe. This time Musa ule ambaye mlikuwa mnaongoja kwenu, ule ulikuwa naongoja kwa jamii yako. You know, for us men wakati mwingine huwa tunahurumia jamii unapojiuliza maswali najua wale ambao tumeoa wake wetu wamezoea kuongozwa bwana asifiwe and sometimes unaulizwa swali na unasema hii e, si ugenda hiyo ni kitu ambao ungeenda utekeleze mwenyewe. Bwana asifiwe. We, you may be here, mama. Ulikuwa umemtegemea mzee wako sana. Musa wako alikuwa ni huyo mzee. Ule mzee siku ya leo ameanza kuwa mlevi. Ambapo ile vision ambayo ulikuwa nayo ni kama jinsi ambavyo Bwana alivyomshukia Joshua na kwambia My servant is dead. Uh, Moses is dead. It is like this man, the man about metegemea kwa muda mrefu is not in his senses again. Bwana asifiwe and this is why the Lord is speaking to you. Be strong. Fear not. Be strong and of good courage. Hallelujah. Diposa uweze kumiliki ile baraka ambao Bwana alikuwa ameahidi. It is not only your blessing. Unajua in most cases kujiongoza wewe mwenyewe it's very easy because you can make a decision by yourself and move on but kuongoza watu wengi <laughs> angalia Kenya diposa barabara kama hii jengwe hii kuna kitu anaitaka hata public participation ati hapa diposa hii barabara ijengwe lazima watu wa area waurizwe mnataka barabara pale bwana asifiwe diposa Joshua Joshua kafikiria sasa kujiongoza mimi mwenyewe ningeweza kuingia na niweze kumiliki but this time is not only myself remember my sister my brother this time is not only you it is you and that family it is you and that clan that god has chosen you so that you can lead it Bwana asifiwe. It is you and the team that you lead here in this church so that you can achieve so that you can achieve the goals that God has given you in that home church in that department of the church. Bwana asifiwe ni wewe. Bwana asifiwe ni wewe ambao Bwana asema ya kwamba wewe ndio utakaye ongoza hiyo team diposa iweze kufika mahali ambapo Bwana anataka. It is our bishop ambaye Bwana atamuongoza diposa kanisa hili liweze kufika mahali ambapo Bwana amekusudia. Na wewe mahali ambapo unaongoza in that department in that in that fellowship ni wewe ambaye Bwana amechagua diposa ufikishe Bwana asifiwe kiwango ambacho Bwana alisema lakini wakati unapojitazama wewe ni kama Joshua lazima Bwana akurudie mara kama tatu na akurize mara ya mwisho wewe Joshua wewe Samuel wewe Daniel wewe Omondi wewe nani Bwana asifiwe wewe si nilikwambia I, I just commanded you so that you can be strong and courageous Bwana asifiwe na diposa Bwana amwambia pale na Joshua kubuka No man will be able to stand against you. Bwana asifiwe. Diposa, diposa Joshua aweze kupata uhakika wa kuendelea. Diposa wewe upate uhakika wa kuendelea. This is why the Lord has sent me today to you. 
ya kwamba bwana siku ya leo akwambia usiogope in the project that you started this year wewe ambao uliokoka mwaka huu umeanza kujiuliza ni kweli mimi nitafauru katika wokovu huu mimi nitafauru katika ile biashara mimi nitafii familia yangu itafika mahali ambapo tulikuwa tunaenda huyu mtoto wangu atafauru kwa hii shule ambao tumemuingiza ni mimi nitapata school fees ya mahali ambapo mtoto wangu anasomea these are the questions that you are asking yourself but the lord has sent me to tell you only be strong and courageous because no man bana sifiwe no principal of that school no teacher hallelujah no neighbor taja hao wengine ambaye atasimama kinyume chako aweze kufauru na ukienda chapter 5 ya the same uh, book of Joshua Ebuenda chapter 5 uh, chapter 5 from verse 13 Naza kutuwekea pale Joshua chapter 5 from verse 13 twende hapo yasema hivi and it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted his eyes and looked and behold a man stood opposite him with a sword drawn in his hands and Joshua went to him and said to him are you for us all for our adversaries verse 14 so he said no but as commander of the army of the Lord I have now come and Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshiped and said to him what does my lord say to his servant Bwana asifiwe Hapa ukiangalia aburudi kidogo hapo verse 13 Yasema hivi and it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho ameacha watu huyu huyu Joshua kwa sababu anajiuliza hii ukuta kubwa hivi itakuwa ni mimi nitakaoongoza watu waweze wawe, iweze kubomolewa Joshua ako pale akitazama ukuta huu deposa si tuweze kubomoa ukuta huu tuweze kuingia kule Jericho ni mimi kweli bwana siulisema ni mimi itawezekana kweli and this is when bwana asifiwe now someone appears before him with a sword drawn bwana asifiwe na upanga ambao umetolewa na diposa Joshua mnamwona akimuuliza wewe uko pande yetu ama uko kwa pande ya adui zetu bwana asifiwe hapa <laughs> ilihitaji Joshua kubuke no man <laughs> simesoma hiyo verse 5 ya chapter 1 Inasema no man and now he has, a, he has seen a man that's why he had to ask this man bwana asifiwe na wewe uko kwa pande yetu ama uko pande ya maadui zetu but imagine Joshua Joshua was just alone alikuwa anafanya nini kule Juliza hiyo swali Joshua diposa patikane na huyu maraika huyu amri jeshi mkuu wa jeshi la bwana yeye diposa Joshua kutana nalo kule haisemi alikuwa ameenda wapi inasema ya kwamba when Joshua was by Jericho alikuwa anaangalia Jericho ambaye anatakiwa kuishinda diposa wana wa Israeli waweze kuimiriki na Joshua aka, hapo ndio aliona mtu bwana asifiwe hey umeanza ku, kuangalia unatoka Unaenda unaangalia kuangalia ka ile hapo hapo ndio bwana alisema ya kwamba nitafauru hapo ndio bwana alisema nitapita bwana asifiwe and in that uh, in that situation that's when god came in bwana asifiwe inawezekana ulikuwa unaenda hapo jana ulipata duka kapata inadipishwa bei kali umekuwa ukirudi pale unasema ni kweli naitamani tu lakini iko juu. Bwana asifiwe. 
hapa ndio Joshua ako. Ni kwa maana wakati ambapo aliongereshwa na Bwana, lazima angeenda angalie. Is it possible? Ha, hapa hii ndio Bwana anasema ya kwamba tutabomoa kuta kama hizi tunaeleza aje kuzibomoa and that's when the angel of the Lord appeared to Joshua. Bwana asifiwe. Hapa ndio Bwana alimtokea deposa Joshua awe na uhakika kabisa ya kwamba the Lord is now with me. Bwana asifiwe. This is the age that the Lord is giving you today. Bwana asifiwe. Huyu ndio maraika, huyu ndio amri jeshi mkuu ambao Bwana akupea siku ya leo. Deposa uweze kufauru in that end ambao umeanza this year in that business that you have started this year in that uh, that thing in that prayer that you have started this year deposa uweze kufauru bwana asifiwe the lord has sent you an echo who is this echo bwana asifiwe huyu maraika huyu amri jeshi ni anafanya kazi namna gani nikaanza kujiuliza now the echo has come Nani sword tu ako nayo? This is a question about kila mtu akijiuliza. Ni sword ametoa tu. Kazi yake itakuwa namna gani? And then this is now when I went to the book of 2 Kings chapter 19. Hebu enda pale. The second book book of Kings chapter 19. Sisi wote tunamkumbuka mfalme Sennacherib sisi wote tunamjua mfalme Hezekiah wakati in, the, in this book of first second kings chapter 19 mfalme huyu wa Syria ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Sennacherib yeye alikuwa ameshinda kila mahali na Israeli the northern kingdom ilikuwa yote imeshindwa bwana asifiwe hata mahali ya watu akina Saul the first king of Israel walikuwa wamezaliwa and king Sennacherib alikuwa ameharibu bwana asifiwe na ukijaribu ama, ama ukienda ufanye your own research kuna wakati ama kuna miji ambayo iliharibiwa wakati ule na hata siku ya leo haijawahi kujengwa bwana asifiwe na kuna mahali ambapo itatajwa itatajwa siku zile this time ukitafuta hakuna ni kwa maana Sennacherib alimaliza na akamaliza kabisa hapa ukisoma sitaki tusome maana naona masaa yangu yameenda hapa iko hivi wakati ambapo Sennacherib alipomaliza uh, kwingine alienda Egypt akamaliza akaenda uh, Northern Kingdom ya Israel akamaliza akaenda Ethiopia akamaliza Bana asifiwe na deposa akakuja chuta. Akauliza Hezekaya, akatumia watu barua. Akawaambia msidanganywe na huyo Hezekaya. Mimi nimemaliza hizi falme zingine. Hezekaya anawaambia ya kwamba kuna Mungu ambaye anaweza kuwa defend. Hiyo miungu ingine ya hao watu wengine haikuweza kuwa defend. Mnafikiri huu Mungu wenu wa Ezekaya ataweza kuwa defend? Bana asifiwe. Na wakati ambapo Ezekaya si tunajua hiyo mambo ya hiyo barua ya Ezekaya. Ile ambayo ilipewa Ezekaya. This is the letter ambayo ilitoa kwa Nsena Karibu. Alipeleka kwa madhabahu. Akaenda akamwambia Bwana tazama. This is the letter that the Syrians have sent to you to us na ilikuwa ni kukufuru Mungu wa Israeli naye bwana akamwambia akatuma uh, nabii Isaia na akamwambia usiogope bwana asifiwe usiogope ni kwa maana mimi niko pande yako and when you go to verse 35 that's where now we, i want us to read in that, that chapter yasema hivi verse 35 ya second kings chapter 19 yasema hivi that night the angel of the lord went out to the assyrians to the assyrians camp and killed 185000 syrian assyrian soldiers when the surviving assyrians woke up the next morning they found corpses everywhere then king sennacherib of assyria broke camp and returned to his own land he went home 
to his capital of Nineveh and stayed there. Bwana asifiwe. Now, this is the, the commander of the armies of Israel. Bwana asifiwe. Wakati ambapo sana karib anasema ya kwamba. Kwani hiyo, hiyo hawe nkine sinemawawa. Hawe nkine sinemawamariza. Kwani miungu yao haikutokea iwasaidie. But this time the same angel comes in and the Bible says that night kama watu wa merara isiraeli mmerara tu wewe umerara bwana asifiwe but this angel is fighting for you amen wakati ambapo hezekiah na watu wengine wa israel wa juda wa merara hule maraika alishuka akaenda katika jeshi katikati ya jeshi la sanakerib na biblia yasema ya kwamba na usiku ule huyu maraika wa bwana akaua wanajeshi 185000 Nataka uniambie how ni watu kiwango gani Bwana asifiwe and this is the same huyo uh, dio ule maraika ambao siku ile Joshua alimuona Ukisoma in the book of Exodus Moses diposa akuwe na uhakika kabisa ya kwamba Bwana ataandamana pamoja na, na yeye andika tu andika hiyo maana iko Genesis uh, Exodus chapter 23 from, from verse 20 the bible says the lord was speaking to moses pare mount sinai na akamwambia musa behold moses i'm sending an angel before you bwana asifiwe na na peana maraika andamane pamoja nanyi na peana maraika wangu aende pamoja nanyi behold i sent I send an angel before you and the work of this angel ukiangalia verse 20 Sitaki kusoma maana tunaweza chukua wakati mwingi Number one, The work of this angel number one, was to keep the Israelites on their course Bwana asifiwe The work of this angel is to keep you on the course you shall not divert from this side to the other side na ukiangalia pale wameambiwa ya kwamba Joshua waliambiwa ya kwamba mnamsikize jinsi huyu huyu uh, uh, maraika wangu atakavyo uh, no ni, ni Moses alikuwa naambiwa msikize jinsi maraika huyu atakavyo nena na nyinyi na tafadhali msikose kumsikiza ni kwa maana his, his, his work will be to keep you in the way and number two, to bring you to the destination bwana asifiwe kuna njia ambao kuna safari ambao ulianza mwaka ulipoanza kuna safari ambao ulianza dada yangu kuna safari about dugu yangu ulianza praise god and this is the assurance of the lord ya kwamba fear not because i'm sending an angel before you, you we have seen that angel with joshua diposa joshua aache kuogopa diposa joshua awe na uhakika ya kwamba hata kuta kubwa zitaweza kuanguka lazima bwana akemtumia the, the commander of the armies of the lord praise god and here in Exodus chapter 23 the bible says na mimi nakutumia maraika ambaye atakutangulia na kazi yake itakuwa ni kukuonyesha njia na namba 2 kukupeleka mahali ambapo mimi a, nimekupea na ukienda verse 23 na nafikiria it's good that we read this scriptures Genesis ama Exodus Exodus chapter 23 Inasema hivi verse 20 naanza hapo See I'm sending an angel before you to protect you on your journey and lead you safe uh, and you lead you safely to the place I have prepared for you Uh-huh Beware of him and obey his voice do not provoke him for he will not pardon you your your transgressions for my name is in him 
verse 20, 22. But if you indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I'll be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary to your adversaries. And verse 23, Yasema, for my angel will go before you and bring you into the Amorites and to the Hathites and to the Perizzites and the Canaanites and the Havites and the Jebusites and I will cut them off. Uh-huh. Verse 24. Uh-huh. You shall not bow down to their gods, nor serve them, nor do according to their works, but you shall utterly overthrow them and completely break down their sacred pillars. Bwana asifiwe. Mwaka huu ulipoanza kuna kitu ama there is a cause that you started. Kuna jambo ambao ulianzisha na ukasema ya kwamba this is the direction that I'm taking. Bwana asifiwe. And you came here and you prayed. And the Lord heard your prayers. Praise God. Hezekiah alipoenda bere za Bwana. Mari ya bapo tumesoma in 2 Kings chapter 19. Yeye hakujua kama Bwana amemsikia. Lakini Bwana alimtuma uh, uh, the prophet Isaiah. Na akamwambia Isaya, enda kwa, uh, kwa mtumishi wangu Hezekiah na umwambie ya kwamba nimesikia maombi yake. Bwana asifiwe. Brethren, the Lord has heard your prayers. And there is a nature that the Lord is setting before you to take you, to guide you on the way and also to take to the destination that the Lord has given unto you. Bwana asifiwe. Na wacheni wambie. Verse 27 yasema ya kwamba. Ukienda verse 27. Yasema, I will send terror. Biblia zingine yasema, I will send terror. I will send my fear before you. I will cause confusion among all the people to whom you come and will and will make all your enemies turn their backs to you. No one bana sifiwe. No enemies are will be ready to face you. They shall always turn their backs to you. Wakitoroka. Praise God. Siku ya leo uko hapa. And this assignment about ukonao mwaka huu. How kuwa nayo rastia. It is very new to your life. Bwana asifiwe. Ma, um, kazi ambao umeanza mwaka huu. Wewe ambaye inezekana. Wewe urianza kazi ya kuokoka mwaka huu. Huku umeokoka rastia. By the way. Mimi siku moja. Sijui kitu gani. Sikuwa ni meokoka. Na nikasikia uoga mwingine ambao ulikuwa umekuja ndani yangu. Na usiku nikaanza kuota someone wa, someone wa, wanting to destroy me. And there is a voice that came from the west kama mgurumo. Na nikaona moto umemaliza ule. Na kwa sababu hiyo doto iliniweka nikiwa na fear kubwa. That first of December mwaka huo nikaenda kwa kesha mtu ambaye alikuwa amekaa sana bila kwenda kwa kanisa nilikuwa nimeenda kwa kanisa nikiwa mtoto mdogo nikiwa na mama yangu apostolic faith church ya kule kwetu nyumbani lakini wakati ambapo hiyo mambo ilianza kunikojia na nilipoona hiyo nikaanza tena kuota kama niko kanisani nikihubiri bwana asifiwe that fear came into me nikaanza kuogopa kwani nitakufa kwani mimi Mungu nataka kunionyesha kwamba nitakufa na that's why i went to the church kesha ikiendelea wageni walipoambiwa waombewe mimi nikasema mimi nilitoka kule nikasema mimi nimekuja maana nataka kuokoka bwana asifiwe inawezekana na wewe uliokoka ulipokuwa ukivuka mwaka na maswari imeanza umeanza kujiuliza mimi kweli nitafauru katika wokovu huu kwa maana zile jia ambazo ulikuwa umepita zilikuwa jia ambazo hazifai bere za Bwana. Na diposa wasikia Bwana akisema ya kwamba lazima usikie jinsi maraika wake atakavyokuongoza. Usiposikia. Bwana asifi, Bwana asifiwe. It is true that this angel is guiding you to your blessings. Lakini lazima umusikie na uende katika zile jia ambazo atakuonyesha. Otherwise Bwana asifiwe yasema ya kwamba hata tusamehe kama tutaenda kwa zile jia ambazo Bwana amekutusundia. Praise God. Sijui 
ni jam ni assignment gani ambao siku ya leo uko ndani yake sijui ni kwa maana bwana asema ya kwamba wewe ndiye maana ule ambaye alikuwa na waongoza ama ule ambaye alikuwa na sikika ni kwa maana hayuko tena ni wewe bwana asifiwe like joshua you have started fearing but let me tell you the angel of the lord amen maraika wa bwana alimtokea joshua akienda kutazama zile kuta ambazo alikuwa anafaa kuangusha hapo dipo maraika ule wa bwana akamtokea bwana asifiwe the angel of the lord is on your side kama jinsi alivyo mnenea uh, Moses kule mlima wa Sinai na akamwambia ya kwamba na maraika wangu atakutangulia wewe na ataenda mbele zako deposa kuonyesha njia ambazo nataka upite the lord is here today and the lord is ready to guide you to the ways and to your blessings bwana asifiwe na lazima tuti ule maraika because he bears biblia imesema ya kwamba because he bears the name of the lord amen ningetaka mahali ambapo uko usimame you feel there is an assignment ambao iko bere yako ama kuna jambo ambalo liko bere yako lakini unapolitazama umeanza kuogopa Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Kuna jambo ambalo liko mbele yako na wewe tu ndio Bwana ama wewe tu ndio unayetegemewa diposa likaweze kutimizwa. Na ulipolitazama ulianza kuogopa. Ulipotazama hili jambo ulianza kuogopa. But the Lord is here telling you fear not because no man shall stand against you. No one No man ivo dio bwana alimwambia Joshua in Joshua chapter 1 verse 5 hakuna mtu bwana asifiwe atakayeweza kusimama kinyume chako maisha yako yote nataka uinue mikono yako it is you who knows this project it is you who knows this assignment ambao uko nayo kwa sababu ya jamii yako wewe ndiye uliyekutana na bwana na bwana ukamwambia ya kwamba this is the route that lord i want to go wewe ni kama Ezekaya aliyemwendea Bwana na akamwambia Bwana hii ndio njia ambayo nataka kuipita. Ho, huku we ulikuwa tu naogopa ni kwa maana huko umejua ya kwamba Bwana amesikia ombi lako. Mpendo uh, da, dugu na dada yangu, Bwana amesikia ombi lako. Na siku ya leo atuma maraika kama jinsi alivyotuma siku ile kwa Ezekaya. Na alipomtuma ule maraika alienda ku destroy the armies of the enemy. The Lord is on your side. The angel of the Lord will guide you. Oh, diposa usitoke kwenda kwa pande ile ama pande ile nyingine. Diposa kuongoze, diposa uweze kufika katika agano lako na Bwana. Mwini wa mikono yako, mwambie Bwana ni asante. Lord I thank you. Bwana nasema ni asante. Ni kwa maana mchana wa leo. Wewe Bwana umeshuka. Ilikuwa ni ombi langu. Ilikuwa ni ombi ya kwamba Bwana uandamane pamoja nami katika hii hatua. And Lord my God, umekuja diposa unipe uhakika ya kwamba Bwana nitafauru in this project, in this my God, in the plan that I have in my life. Lord I know wewe wa utafanya jamii yangu iweze kutimiza yale ambao tuliokuitia. Oh my God we pray ya kwamba Bwana maraika huyu wako siku ya leo ashuke katika maisha ya kila mmoja wetu. Ashuke juu ya ile jamii, juu ya ile project, juu ya hiyo assignment. Let the echo of the Lord hallelujah awe aonekane katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Shakara babu zekere babu zayo rekatara baba baba shandara babu zayo Lord Lord God Almighty I want to thank you and I want to bless you
because Lord you are here and my father we shall fear not we shall not fear, fear not again mi kwa maana bwana umeshuka hatutaogopa tena hatuogopi tena hatutaogopa tena wapendwa bwana asema ya kwamba oh be strong oh kuwa na uhakika ya kwamba bwana ameshuka na bwana atakushindania ni kwa maana ameshuka ndipo ukaweze kufika katika ile goal ambao bwana alikupea mighty father we bless you Uinuliwe bwana na hata utukuzwe wewe ni mungu mwema thank you jesus <clears throat> bwana wapendo hawa kuna assignment ambayo iko mbele zao na wengine wao wameanza kuogopa mungu wa ajabu tazama jinsi roho zao zimefunguka mbele zako ndipo sa bwana ushuke na kuwapea uhakika tena ya kwamba bwana kama jinsi ulivyoshuka kwa Moses ulipokuwa naye kule Sinai na kumwambia ya kwamba nakupa malaika yangu aendamane atembee mbele zako god we pray that this day our father you shall visit your people so that they can see these angels who are guiding them diposa wakika ule uwe ndani yao bwana tazama wengine ni kama Joshua wametoka na kwenda kuangalia kuta kubwa ambazo zimesimama mbele zao tazama bwana ni karibu avunjike moyo naomba bwana ya kwamba malaika wako oh the commanders the commander of the army of the lord ashuke siku ya leo diposa bwana uhakika ule ya kwamba hizi kuta zitaanguka bwana ukaingie katika moyo wa kila mmoja wao Okay utukufu na sifa ni kwa maana Bwana mchana wa leo wengi Bwana hawatakufa moyo hawataacha hiyo project wale ambao waliokoka hawataacha wokovu ni kwa maana Bwana umeshuka ukaweze kuainua na hata kuwatenda mema china lako twaribariki china lako twarinua lord we know ya kwamba umeshuka diposa ushindi wetu ukadhibitike Bwana kuna wengine wetu ambao ni kama Joshua ambao Musa wao wamekufa na siku ya leo hata wakati huu wanaendelea kuomboleza God shuka siku ya leo wape uhakika ule ya kwamba ni wao ya kwamba Bwana wao ndio atakaye watakaye watumia diposa waweze kufikisha nafasi ile ambao ulikuwa umepeana kwa Musa Bwana umowapea wakafikisha jamii zao wakafikisha wazazi wao katika hiyo hatua ambao Bwana amekusudia uinduliwe Bwana na utukuzwe maana wewe ni Mungu mwema Bwana vita vyetu sio zetu tena kama jinsi ezekaya alivyokuja kwako na akasema Bwana tazama kuna wengine wetu ambao wako katika vita my god i pray that this angel who come tho- who came those days Bwana ashuke kat- juu ya hao wote ambao wako katika vita na akawapiganie Bwana uinduliwe na hata utukuzwe ni kwa maana ushindi wako ume utadhihirika na umedhihirika katika maisha ya kila mmoja wetu twasema ni asanti jina lako twaliabudu jina lako twalihimidi kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu mwema na hakuna mwingine kama wewe katika jina la Kristo Yesu bwana toaomba na hata tunashukuru amen bwana wabari.